Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Taryn speaking and I am back with another speed build. Today I will be building a small family home perfect for 2 or 3 person. If you like my builds and videos remember to give me a thumbs up and hit the follow and subscribe button on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch so I can continue to upload these videos. So this is a very cute family home and it has two bedrooms where I have furnished one of the bedrooms suitable for a toddler. I have counted this build as one of my smaller ones but I can hardly call this a tiny home. I am currently building on the smallest lot 20 by 15 but changed my mind because I wanted a garden with some playground equipment or at least a monkey bar but I realized later that the toddler doesn't use that but you'll see in my video tour that I have used a 20 by 30 lot right next to where I am currently building but this house does fit perfectly into the smaller one if you prefer no garden. So if you saw my previous upload of the single bed house I called moving on or one as in one person only and now you have got married and started a family and moved out of the small house to a bigger one. But I assume that you want to expand the family even more so I will be building a little bigger house later for you to move into. I'm really happy about my neighborhood and I think I'm actually going to create sims that can live here and I'm not very into the game as I prefer just to build but recently I have been playing with the idea of learning how to play the game and also that I will upload videos of my journey to become a master simmer to YouTube if that is something that you might be interested in. So in the background you can see my first tiny build in this neighborhood and I use some of the same material since they are in the same street and obviously your sim didn't move that far kind of like me when I started to work as a real estate agent and moved to a different town from where I grew up and are currently living in now. I first rented a small apartment like a student dorm for a year before I bought my first apartment and it was almost in the same street, just in an apartment complex, but I could sit in my dorm room and look down into the kitchen from where I was gonna live for the next four years of my life. And today I can watch into my parents' kitchen window from where I am sitting and record this voiceover and work on my speed bills. I have quite a huge dining table despite that there is only three in this family. Well, at least that's what I imagined there would be, but... The kitchen is rather huge so I wanted to fill the empty space with something and just as in the neighbor house I am adding some modern features in this build and I try to save space by not having too much closed rooms and doors in the house. I'm not really comfortable with the color choices that I have here but I want to get out of my black, white and grey mood that I'm currently stuck in so I'm gonna keep this red brownish color and I will also add colors that really pops out and shine through in the furniture and the cluttering. So I am gonna use a little yellow in this spill because I thought that looked really nice with the undecided brown, red, orange floors and walls that I have and the plant that I'm using is from the spa pack and I really like those because they are very simple and easy to place. And they also fits in most of my bills and there are so many different colors on the pots than other plants have. I am using three night tables to place my TV and I ended up with black sadly. But I played a little with the colors there and thought that I rather would have a chair and some puffs in yellow instead. I have just a small toilet in this first floor. There is a room for a shower here I think. But I thought since there are only three, they really just need one shower. And this bathroom I am furnishing can be downloaded separately from the Sims 4 gallery. And I have posted a link in the description below. This is a black, white and grey bathroom, just as the one downstairs. And I think it looks kind of modern. The tiles that I am using in my bathroom are from the spa pack and I use all the tiles from that pack a lot. I found them very neat and stylish. I will also have a second living room area in the upper floor and I am continuing with my black and yellow theme here as well. And I'm gonna have a second computer here so both parents can sit and work or play games or whatever they do. As I said, I really need to learn this game. 
I just can see myself running around controlling mini me and do chores like cooking, cleaning and stuff like that. But I might try that one day in a distant future. But moving on to the parents' bedroom, these have a very different style than the rest of the house and I was considering to change that but I just couldn't be bothered. And I would also say that the wife are probably a lot saying in the choice of color and furniture that I am using. I find it really girly and I also have this um, makeup table and it's just too bad that we barely have any makeup items to clutter with. Despite the girly looks, I am quite happy how the bedroom turned out to be, but I think this would probably have looked better if we had this in a different kind of house, but who knows. I am not a fan of furnishing children's bedroom because I have no idea how to decorate them, but I wanted to have a unisex bedroom, I would call it. I didn't want it to look too much boy-like or too girly-like by using only blue and pink. So I am using light green and brownish colors. So it basically fits both boys and girls. I have to admit that I really don't understand why we color code our children like we do. I guess it may be difficult to see the difference when they are babies by not using the correct colors. I remember this incident I had by asking a customer how old she was referring to her baby and then she said it's a boy. But he had red clothes on so I just assumed it was a girl. But anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. It's been a pleasure as always and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also follow and subscribe on Twitter, YouTube and Twitch. You can also leave a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so I can improve my future builds and videos. So enjoy this upcoming video tour and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!